we are being indoctrinated to accept their wicked, evil beliefs of this world. Everywhere you look in America, there are demonic symbols. Everywhere we look. There are those that worship the devil, that are in the occult, caught up in the darkness and the evil of this world. Everywhere you look in Washington, D.C., there are symbols. There is demonic possession in movies. Have you seen the movies of vampires? In this wickedness, they want you to believe that the evil and the demonic that are possessed with demons are more powerful than the things that are anointed of God. They are liars. They are deceivers. And you are being desensitized. Even in little children's movies, there is something there that is demonic. Trying to indoctrinate our children to accept their beliefs. It's in music, videos, video games. And if you can believe it or not, it is in cartoons and little children's shows on TV. Our little ones are watching horror movies. Dear Lord, you can't even watch commercials without seeing half-dressed women. And I'm telling you the truth. Every commercial that I see that has a half-naked woman in it, I will not buy what they are endorsing. Because if you have to put a half-naked woman up there to get the people to watch and buy your things, I don't want anything to do with them. It is degrading women and exporting them, and I don't like it. And it's sad that what people will do and how they will allow people to disrespect their bodies. No wonder other countries call America Satan. It is a shame how so many have lost respect for their own selves. And what is it teaching the next generation? Uh, the next generation of young women and young men that it's okay to disrespect your body, not have any shame. So many young women start out thinking it's okay to walk around half naked. Dear Lord, in the stores, these young women are nearly wearing nothing at all. Does not their parents care? I never allowed my daughter to do that. But see, you see, she was not raised like that. She knew better. She was raised in the Word of God. So she knew better. And when she got married at 19 years old, she was a virgin. So many of these young girls use up and waste their virginity from jumping here and there and don't even care about their bodies. And by the time it's time for them to be married, they already have so many children that their parents are raising that it is unbelievable. It really is. It, it truly is. I see it every day in my walk with God, how grandparents are raising their grandkids because their children we're doing things that they shouldn't have been doing in the first place at that young age. And by the time they are to be married, what man would want to marry someone 
that is what? 18 years old already has four or five children? What are we teaching the children today? It will make you cry. I'm telling you, but they learned that. They learned that from movies, from video games. That's where, that's who's teaching your children, church, is the wickedness and evil of this world. That it's okay to desecrate your body. It is so sad and it is heartbreaking, but it's the truth. I am telling you the truth. The occult is everywhere. The Washington monuments, the statues, it is sad. I used to use this conditioner on my hair and it was called Finesse. And I loved that conditioner. Until I saw one of their commercials that said this is wish craft, I stopped using it. We are living in a nation that is demonic. Even the government is corrupt. They are so divided. There's no values anymore. There's a breakdown in the family structure. And I promise you the darkness of this world is void and it is empty and it is without faith. You don't realize that through the TV, the Holy Spirit of God said to me that our mind receives messages in the airway all day long that our ears never hear. We hear it in the commercials, in the movies, everywhere we go. It is in the airway because that's the power of the prince of the air. But at 8.41 a.m. this morning, I heard the sweet voice of the Holy Spirit of God speaking to me, and he said the anointing breaks the yoke. Isaiah 10 and 27. The anointing of the Holy Spirit of God is upon us, church. We have the anointing of the Holy Ghost, so that anointing that is upon us that is the Holy Spirit of God, will remove the burden. It will take away the oppressor from you and set you free. The anointing of the Holy Spirit of God will deliver us. Whom the Son sets free is free indeed. The anointing. When we call on God, this is what I want you to know this morning that I heard from the Holy Spirit of God. That it is the anointing when we call on God to break through all spiritual hindrances. Whatever is trying to hinder you and I. That's trying to stop our breakthrough from winning that victory. It is the anointing that will break through that spiritual hindrance. Psalms 23 and 5, God prepared a table before us in the presence of our enemies. He anointed our heads with oil and our cup runneth over. This means no matter what, God will break through all this spiritual hindrance. Because of the anointing, our enemies will see the anointing upon our forehead, the seal of the Holy Spirit of God that we have been consecrated, made sacred, dedicated to God. We are a chosen people. And I said to the Holy Spirit of God when he spoke all these powerful words to me at 8.41 a.m., I said, Lord, send me and I will go and the power of your anointing to break down all spiritual hindrance. That there will be nothing that will hinder us or stop us from the plan 
and the purpose and the will of God. Praise God, glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I feel the power of the anointing of the Holy Spirit of God. And I stretch forth my hands right now in the name of my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ, towards you, church. And whatever spiritual hindrance, whatever burden that the enemy has burdened you with today, the anointing of the Holy Ghost will remove the burden and take away the oppressor from you and set you free right now in the name of Jesus as my Lord and my Savior, whom the Son sets free is free indeed. In Jesus Christ, in Jesus Christ, most holy, holy, holy name we pray and let the church say amen and amen. It is the anointing that is upon your forehead, the oil of the Holy Ghost, the refreshing anointing oil that God anoints us with daily will break, it will remove it will take away the oppressor from you. Glory, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Can't I get an amen from somebody? Come on, church. Come on. It's time to break the yoke, to remove, take away our burden, the oppressor that is oppressing us. It is the anointing of the Holy Spirit that will deliver us. I tell you what, church, that word was quickened within me and made alive. Glory, hallelujah. And I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost upon me so strong. Praise God. Praise God. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, break that yoke, that burden of this oppressor and this spiritual hindrance. Take it away, O oh Lord, right now in the name of Jesus and set your people free for whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Almighty oh, God, our victory is on the way you have anointed our head with your oil. You have prepared a table for us in the presence of our enemies. And our cup runneth over. Oh, Lord, almighty oh God, we call upon you today to break this yoke from off of your children. Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory and all the honor. For it is not by power. It is not by might. Not by ours, Almighty God. Not by our power. Not by our might. Not by our strength. But it is by your power. By your might. And by your spirit. By your spirit, O oh Lord that would deliver us. It is by your anointing that we are set free from our burdens and from this oppressor. Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory, all the honor and all the worship. We know it is by your outstretched arm and your mighty hand that we are delivered. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Father. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be the holy name of God, Jehovah Jireh, my provider. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be the holy name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, for he is holy. Blessed be the holy name of the Holy Spirit of God, for he is holy. Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty. Blessed be your holy name. Lord, we love you. 
we praise you and we worship you and we glorify your holy name today. It is your anointing. It is your anointing, Holy Spirit, that will set us free, that will deliver us this day. Father, we are calling on you to break through every spiritual hindrance and every weight that so easily besets us. There is no mountain too high. There is no valley too low that you cannot deliver us out of. Thank you, Father that you hear our prayers. Thank you, Father God, that you answered those prayers. Today, Father, today, it is your will. It is your will, Almighty God. For you wish above all things that our soul prospers and be in good health. Thank you, Father, that this is the will of God, that we be delivered set free that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will take away our burden take away the oppressor from us today is a day of victory in Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ most holy name we pray and let the church say amen and amen. Praise God, glory, hallelujah. Father, we thank you for the anointing of the Holy Spirit of God and the seal of the Holy Ghost that you have sealed us with until the day of redemption, glory, hallelujah. Oh, church, can you feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit? Sweet Spirit of God, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, we love you. We do. We thank you. We thank you, Father, that today some people are going to get set free. Your children are going to be delivered today. Today is the day of victory. Don't you just love him, church? Don't you just love him? Praise God. Praise God. Glory, hallelujah. Glory to God. Do you feel the anointing being released? Do you see in the vision of God that he has given us right now? of him pouring out that refresher oil upon us. Can you just feel that release within your spirit right now? I don't know about you, church, but I feel it. I feel it being unleashed. Right now, the anointing is being poured out. The refreshing oil of the Holy Ghost is being poured out right now as the angels are ministering to us right now. Right now, church. Right now. Oh, Lord, we receive it. We do, Lord. We receive it. We receive it right now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for what you have done. And we thank you, Father, what, for what you're about to do. We thank you, Father. Glory to God. Glory be to the Most High God. Lord, we love you. Have a blessed day, church. Have a blessed and victorious day today. In Jesus Christ's most holy name we pray. And let the church say amen and amen. I love you, my dear precious friends.